Hi! So, today we are going to solve vector resultants using component methods. As you may know, compared to other methods like the parallelogram method and simply using your Pythagorean theorem, using the component method allows you to work with two or more vectors. Kag medyo po siya nga paagi. So, let's start. Okay. Um, the equations that we are going to use and you should memorize is the x component sa mga vectors natin, that's f of x equals f cosine theta. Sa y, that's f sine theta. For your resultant magnitude, that's the square root of f of x squared plus f of y squared. And as you can see, it looks like it was taken out of your Pythagorean theorem, no? And finally, the resultant direction is arctan f of y over f of x. Ang um, anga amo na siya. Because if you add up all your x components and y components, ang laban laban sina, laban laban, actually ang mugin na siya ya eh, your resultant will be the hypotenuse. That is why ang atang nga resultant magnitude, amun yung equation taken from your Pythagorean theorem. And finally, your theta is somewhere around here, and that is, as you can see, towa, di ba? So, that's opposite. Ang opposite na to na side is y over uh, adjacent. So, ang adjacent na to na side is x. That is why it's like this. So, arctan f of y over f of x. So, let's get rid of this. And now, the steps that you are going to take. So, first of all, find the x and y component of each vector involved. So later on, let's do that. When we have the components, let's add them all. Separate cx, separate cy. And then, yeah, we're going to use all the equations from the previous slide to find the magnitude and direction. So let's move to one example. Oops, not that one. Surprise lang to. So let's start with an example with um, two vectors. So normally, guys, Ang atong vectors, there should be a or an arrowhead up there. Yeah. So that is how it's written. Okay, let's change color. Okay. So find the resultant of two displacement vectors. So displacement, we have 8 kilometers with the direction 30 degrees north of east. Um, the other one is 4 kilometers nga displacement, 25 degrees east of south. So, the first thing that you do is to draw, uh, to plot these vectors para may guide ka mo. Um, partition coordinate plane man sa Japan, but instead, let's have east here, north, um, west, and then south. And as yeah, as normal, karon mag-isip kita sa ngatan na ibutang nga angle sa atan bala nga x and y component ng mga equations. I consider nyo man Japan, guys, nga 0 degrees sa day or 360 degrees, no? Consider nyo man a Japan, this is 90 degrees, 180 degrees, and 270 degrees. Okay. How do we draw this, though? So, 30 degrees north of east. So, ang style namon is ginailonggo na siya namon. So, when you say north of east, sa babaw ni east. So, you have east here. Um, it's sure nga ang inyong angle, i-drawing nyo sa babaw ni east. Sa so, amunang style. And then, assume nyo na lang nga 30 degrees ni siya. Oh. So, let's get rid of this. Okay. So, muna. Mayara ka na subong sang vector A. So, pangitaon nyo lang sa ilunggo north of east, sa babaw ni east. So, butan ka muda sa inyong angle, um, and then you have your vector A. Um, butang ka lang nga daan sa magnitude. Ah. So, 8 kilometers siya, no? And then this is 30 degrees. Okay. As for vector B, that's 4 kilometers, 25 degrees east of south. So, sa ilunggo, ang east is, ari diri o? Oh, so, sa tuo ni south. So, butang kita sa gamay diri nga. Kurit para sa angle. And then, draw kita vector. Yan. So, this is 25 degrees. And this is vector B. And 
this is 4 kilometers in magnitude. So, para namin, man ang inyo nga drawing, guys, medyo i per scale nyo man. So, si 8 na to, medyo mas laba compared kay 4. But, well, compared to other graphical methods, it's not as important. Para cute lang yung tura. <laughs> ano na siya. So, now that we have drawn, um, let's start with your X components. So, X components na to for A, okay, and X components for B. So, reminder, guys, that the equation is F cosine theta. So, ang F na ton is 8 cosine. Okay. For this one, it's easy. It's simply 30 degrees. Okay. Now, for B, ang aton na F is 4 cosine. But no, hindi ka mo magdali na magbutang na lang dayon 25 degrees. Okay. So, what you should do is, let's change color here. Um, consider this as your origin, no? Ang ini nga, um, axis in this quadrant, quadrant 1. So, this is 90, 180, 270. This one may 25 ka pa nga. So, bra, so that is 270 degrees plus 25 degrees equals 295 degrees. So, this should be, change color kita, 295 degrees. Okay. So, let's solve. That's 8 cosine 30. That's 6.93 kilometers. Um, 4 cosine 295. That's 1.69 kilometers. Okay. And then, you should also check your answers to make sure ng inyo nga angle chak to, no? Um, ang answer naton for the x component of A is positive because it is in the positive side sang x-axis. So, inota na siya. Okay? So, positive because in the positive, or no, no, no. Let's change that. So, right side. <laughs> Sa right side sang x-axis. If negative naman siya, then of course, ala siya sa left side, sa diri nga part. Sa, right, ah, sa left side or sa negative na side sang ato na x-axis. So, both of our vectors are in the positive side of your x-axis, right? So, positive man ang gin-expect na answer. Okay. Um, let's see if we key in 25. Mm-hmm. So, it's a very different answer. Anyways, um, let's add this up. So, according sa atong gagi ng uh, steps, no? Mm -hmm. So, 6.93 plus 1.69 is equal to 8.62 kilometers. And this is the resultant sang x pa lang na siya. So, sa tanang na x uh, components, amun ni ang iya nga, total or resultant. Okay. So, pag amayon ka ni siya danay, kaya masolve kita para kay f of y. Okay. Maintain ta siya para kita. O lang, Japan, karun kay. <laughs> okay. So, what if we are going to solve for f of y? So, reminder, that's, oops, I keep forgetting the, I don't know, did you know, that's F sine theta. So, for A, ang atong na F Japan is 8, no? Sine 30. So, masubdan nyo na ito gani, oh, hapos na lang, kaya copy-paste na lang na, is din nyo lang sine. So, we have 4 sine 295 degrees. Okay, using our calculators, that's 8 sine 30 which is equal to 4, and then 4 sine 295, that is equal to negative 3.63 kilometers. Now, pag ginasiling ko, lantawon nyo kung tsak to ang sine. So, kung makita nyo guys, ang atong na vector A, ara siya sa babaw. So, um, hmm, upper or top? Ano nga yung word? Sige, upper na lang ha? sa upper side sang y-axis. Ang mga nga positive siya. 
kay Alice Vector A na ton. Meanwhile, if ara ka sa dalom, just like vector B, ang makuha mo is negative na answer. So, sa diri pa lang guys, make sure nyo ha nga check to ang inyong signs. Positive kung right sides ng x-axis or upper sides ng y-axis. So, basically on the positive side of your axis. So, kung negative naman siya, dapat sa negative side na na siya. Um, if mabantayan nyo na sa, then lapit-lapit, hindi -lapit, mo sa check to. No? And then, um, just like what we did with the x components, let's add all the y components. So, 4 minus 3.63, that is 0 0.37 kilometers. And this is the resultant for, okay, all the y um, components. Okay, let's make this smaller. Okay, so now that we know the x component and y, com uh, y component resultants, we can solve for the magnitude na di nga resultant. So like what we showed earlier, it kind of forms a right angle. So let's do a little Pythagorean theorem. Ang x na ton is 8.62 squared. Ari siya, oh, Plus, ang y na ton, 0 0.37 squared. Ayun naman siya. So, square root na siya. Grab your calculators. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Lapit-lapit ba? That's 8.63 uh, kilometers. Yep. So, 8.63 kilometers ang resultant sa atin nga. Um, vectors. Magnitude niya eh. Pero, ano ang iya nga? Ang goal. Ang goal or direction. So, let's make this smaller, no? Smaller, smaller. Okay. So, theta is equal to arctan. So, y over x. Ang y na ton, it was 0.37. Ang x na ton, 8.62. Which makes it arctan um, 0.37 divided by 8.62. That is 2.46 degrees. 2.46 degrees. Okay. Okay. Ano, 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 ano. Let's make that smaller. Uh huh. Okay, so sometimes guys, you will get values that are quite um, negative. Negative na siya. So, ang gakakwa na ito na answer using our method where hindi na consider tagijayang ato na angles um, is already um, considering, of course, the zero degrees. So, the initial ni mo makita. Um, let's change color. Green. Or green na. So, ang itsura yas ini, from this point guys, so, pakad to sa diringa point, ay, pari yung color, islan talang islan, um, blue ah. Okay, so from the head of this, uh, what do you call this? From the head of this vector, pakad to sa head sa ini nga vector, ari siya oh. Yep. Ari si 2.46. And the length should be 8.63. So, our resultant is this guy. But, of course, um, our, yeah, our drawing is not really up to scale. So, yeah, you get the point. <laughs> Hindi siya obvious na 2.46 degrees. But, you still get the answer. Also, um, I want you to remember, guys, or to make sure na dapat ang inyong calculators naka-degree. So, dapat mayara asang little letter D dira sa babaw sa inyong calculators. If in case nga mag-grad ka mo alang-alang, then bye-bye world. Then, so, yun. 